So it's the middle of summer, it's hot outside, your air conditioning is blowing hot air and the AC companies are backed up for weeks. There's a chance there might be an easy fix. Stick around. It turns out one of the most common AC problems is one of the easiest to fix. Let me explain how to diagnose and make this repair. So if your air conditioning is blowing hot air, you go out into the garage or your closet where your air handler is, that's the thing that cycles the air in your house. If that's on and you go outside to the condenser unit, the fan unit outside, and if that's off, there's a very good chance the starting capacitor on the condenser unit is blown. If that's the case, you simply just have to replace the capacitor and with some precautions, it's pretty easy to do. So, the way I did this process is I went to the, the AC control in the house, I turned the air conditioning off. The next thing I did, and this is very important, is I cut power, not the cheese, to the condenser unit outside. That cheese smells good. Then I took the panel off the AC condenser unit, which was simply a few screws. And once the panel is off, you can see the capacitor right away. Now generally, just by looking at the capacitor, you can tell if it has been damaged. Nine times out of 10, the capacitor will be distorted in some way. Generally, there'll be a bow at the top, and here's an example of a bad capacitor in a brand new one. So if it's bad, all you need to do is replace it. But there's another safety concern here. There's a slight chance this capacitor could still have some sort of current stored in it. So you want to short the capacitor out just in case. Easy way to do that is take something metal like a screwdriver and touch all the terminals together to cause any possible short. Once you're sure the capacitor is completely dead, then you simply want to take the wires off the old capacitor and match them up with the appropriate terminals on the new capacitor. If you have a new capacitor, this is easy. Simply take one wire off at a time and match it on the appropriate terminals of the new capacitor. And the capacitors are pretty easy. They generally have a certain number of fins, so you can match your wires based on the number of fins. So put the new wires on, bolt the capacitor back to the air condenser, put the panel back on, put the power plug back in the disconnect, turn the AC on inside, make sure the handler comes on, go outside, make sure the condenser's on. If so, voila, your problem is fixed. So if you found this helpful, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. I'm Joe Kistel.